It's Pelle here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the cutout flash transition in Alter Effects as you guys saw now in the preview I thought it was a pretty really cool effect uh, that you can for transition you guys can use for your music videos or edits you're working on and uh, yeah I'm excited to show you guys how to make it and if you guys don't know who I am my name is Pelle Kvarberg I'm from Sweden uh, I've been editing for almost a decade now. Uh, I am 20 years old, I look 30 years old and I'm running the website called editingvisuals.com where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing. It's going to speed up your workflow a lot and also going to be elevating your effects to the next level. So if that's something you are interested in checking out it's going to be a link in the description down below but now let's start making this transition here so here i'm in after effects and i've added two clips here i'm going to be using for this effect and we're going to be starting off by basically making the overlapping part with the rotor brush and as you guys can see here i have a clip overlapping uh, my first clip and that's what you guys gotta do as well have two clips one that's going to be overlapping the other one and this overlapping i have here is one second long and in frames that is 24 because i'm using 24 frames per second but uh, i'm basically going to be cutting this so i'm going to press ctrl shift d and this overlapping part here i'm basically going to be rotor brushing this out so you basically go to the rotor brush tool here double click then here you rotor brush out your artist so it's going to be pretty quick this is the rotor brush i made here it's not the best obviously but uh, uh you know it's going to work pretty good for this clip here so when you're satisfied just press freeze here now when we go back to the main composition here we have this cutout version and this one i'm going to be uh keyframing the position here so i'm going to press p on this layer i'm going to set the normal uh, position uh, at the ending where the transition point is and then in the beginning here i'm going to drag it down so drag it even more down something like that so this is how it looks so far pretty clean now you guys can also mark the keyframes here and then press f9 open the graph and then here for position settings when you use the uh, you want to change the graph you gotta use the speed graph uh, to edit that and it's going to look something like this instead and to make it fast in the beginning, because that's uh, the look I want to go for now, uh, you gotta drag this one in like that and this one in like that as well. So this is going to make it sharp in the beginning, so it's going to pop up. Then, boom, it's going to change into the next clip. And to make it a little bit more smoother, you guys could use the motion blur uh, function here. And it's going to create this, as you see, motion blur to our rotor brush here, which looks amazing in my opinion. So this is how it looks so far. And clean, you know, uh, works, but we uh, want to add some impact to when it's transitioning, basically. So to get more impact, we're going to be adding a effect to the second clip. So we're going to be making an adjustment layer, Control alt y I'm going to cut it at the transition point. Effects and presets, animation presets, user presets. Here I'm going to be using my grunge preset pack, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle. And here we could add the default grunge, so just a simple drag and drop in. It's going to look something like this. Absolutely amazing with just a drag and drop. And if you guys want to adjust the uh, brightness or whatever on the effect, just add curves to your footage. Then here you can increase the brightness or decrease it uh, depending on what look you guys want. It's going to look something like this now. Pop up, boom, into the next clip. Looks super clean, adds even more impact to our transition here uh, with the effect and this is as you guys can see just one effect from the grunge preset pack so uh, if i just show you guys some more looks we could add a dark pixel grunge and it's going to look something like this here with a drag and drop insanely clean grunge effect we could add zoom grunge it's going to look something like this pretty, pretty cool and unique uh, grunge look just add curves to your footage if you guys want to adjust the brightness. And as you guys see, you can get this insanely cool uh, grunge look in basically seconds by a simple drag and drop uh, into your uh, composition. And yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested in the grunge preset pack, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle, uh, you guys want to, you know, 
uh, get this kind of grunge look basically it's going to be a link in the description down below uh, and uh, yeah it's also going to be a little discount code there as well if you guys are interested in this pack okay so now my camera is about to die so i gotta uh, hurry up with the tutorial now uh, we're going to be making a flash here on the uh, transition point so how to do that a very basic flash is basically to make a new solid layer make it white cut it and here drag it under the uh, grunge effect we have and then go to transform opacity keyframe the opacity set it to zero in the end mark the keyframes press f9 then we're going to be creating this kind of look here so it's going to be flashing like this here that was a little bit too bright so i'm going to drag this one in as well then make a new adjustment layer control y and here we could add transform i'm going to make it start when the uh, cutout version rotor brush starts to animate basically and here i'm gonna set the scale to 100 at the transition point 150 then 100 in the ending open up the layer mark the keyframes press f9 then we're going to make a fast impact here make the graph look something like this here then add some motion blur then we can drag down the opacity on the solid layer i'm gonna set it to 50 percent it was a little bit too strong i felt like and after that when you feel done here pre-compose everything and if you guys want to add a lost touch uh, with impact use shake sauce 2 uh, it's a link in the description if you guys want to check this out one of the best shake uh, plugins in after effects in my opinion uh, keyframed here we have a ton of pre-made presets here in the plugin and i'm going to be using uh, a preset i made I have a tutorial on it in the description flick your shake double click on the layer and now my camera died let's go and you guys will get this kind of look here insanely clean uh cut out flash transition in my opinion and the impact is crazy as well i really really uh, like this transition here and if you guys also like this effect don't forget to like and subscribe and if you guys want to check out the grunge preset pack which is a part of my all-in-one bundle uh, it's going to be a link in the description down below and a little discount code there as well if you guys uh, yeah, will be interested in that pack. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, my camera died now, so uh, <laughs> just an uh, uh, After Effects screen here or something like that. But uh, yeah, just wanted to say thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, yeah, feel free to check out my website, uh, my socials, join my Discord server. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.